My name is Miss Terry. I work with the company. It says I'm not sure. Science. A lot. I don't know if you had anything you needed to say about anything else during your summertime things. I do. Or you're good to go. <laughs> yeah. But we're, gonna, we're making a nice big circle, so why don't you come around maybe on the side so you're not behind somebody? I'm going to introduce you to some of my friends today. I did bring some animals, and they're alive. But we're going to be a scientist today. I'll give you a chance to look closer. I have things you can pet if you'd like. I even have some that will go on the floor. But we're good. I have no Jurassic Park. Or Jurassic World. Ooh, no, no dinosaurs. I know that's But I'd like you to be able to do what we do in the library. Do things in a quiet way, a gentle way. Because I know we're not supposed to get loud, but the animals are listening right now. They like to uh, pay attention, as you're saying. Where are the animals? They're all behind them. They're covered, they're relaxed. Some of them like to come out in the day a lot even in the sun, but some of them like to come out at night, so they take naps during the day. So we're going to study animals that are kind of different in that way. We're also going to study animals that have a skeleton on the inside. But we're going to see how they use their body, because they're, well, jumpers, hoppers, runners, um, climbers. They're kind of like us. But it's kind of like getting ready, getting set, and read, or run or hop or jump or be the, I guess, the athlete that they are. But as I introduce you to some of my friends, I'm going to get one out at a time. I'll talk about them. I'm going to come right around as we work with these. I'll ask if you'd like to pat them. If you'd like to, you may, but not in your face. If you do not, you can say no thank you. You can still study them with your eyes because we're still going to be talking about how they are in the real world, but also here with people. They all grew up with people. I have one that's just only a year old. I have another one that's 32 years old. I have old, oh, well, that one can live over 80 years. My one year old can live 40 to 50 years. So I'm sticking in with the long haul of working with animals. I've always enjoyed it when I was a little kid. I was a guy, I never grew up. Well, okay, I grew up, but I'm still a kid in heart. I'm going to start off with my one, oh, I've got a warm fuzzy thing for you first. One of my little ones that likes it sometimes too cheerfully on Cheerios. Oh, but keep them here. Looks like you guys are hungry. You guys get a snack yet this morning? Maybe. But each of the different animals, as I introduce, I ask them to sit, stay, be calm. Same thing with you. Sit, stay, be calm. But that's definitely. If you stay there, we won't run over each other. You won't be under each other's fingers. I see you've got the crisscross applesauce. Excellent. Well done. That way I know I can come around and be very comfortable. And you can too. I get my little buddy, he likes to bounce around a little bit. Come here. Up up. Yeah. This is one of my little guys. He loves to nibble away on some hay. It's his favorite things. He likes his other treats like the Cheerios. But this is Baby Puff. He's actually about a five-year-old now. It's amazing how this guy can get older, but he won't get any bigger now. Do you know what this thing is? A gerbil? I know. He's bigger than a gerbil, but you know. What do you think? I think it's a mouse. It is bigger than a mouse, but you're in the right group. It is actually called a chinchilla. Ch ch chin chinchilla. Ch Can we say that quietly? Chinchilla. Chinchillas live in a very chilly place. So guess what he has all over him? The thickest fur coat you ever could imagine. But he has to keep it dry. He cannot get it wet. This is an animal that stays in a very dry place. It's in the mountains of South America. He lives up there. Well, of course, he never did. Just like I don't have to live in all the places I go to visit. But this is an animal that grew up with people. And so he grew up here in Michigan. Now, maybe I'll try my on a Cheerio now that he's had a chance to look at you. He likes to look at you a little bit first. Pop, would you like a Cheerio? Ooh, I'm going to look at you first. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> you know, nibble. Like a mouse, like a squirrel, like the hamsters and gerbils. These are animals that have the same smile, the same look to them. If I make them around, check them out back here. You sit and be patient, work one at a time. My animals will kind of pay attention to you. Oh, they'll be watching, looking, listening, smelling. That's why the whiskers are so busy. He says, hmm. Your fingers in my ears. He says, no, thank you. And he says, it's better here. Because he says, uh, no. You cannot hear with the finger in the ear. You tease him too much, he's going to jump on my shoulder. He's going to hop on my lap and he won't sit still. I ask that he sit still. Chinchillas never do. Of course, kids can, right? Good. So you can teach him to be more calm about this. Shall we? Now, we might be able to fight one at a time. That he can feel the fluff he's not. He'll turn, he'll look, he'll hop. Oh, man, he hops. But I don't want to get mad. I'm going to do it with our giggles because I know. He hears all that. So, we'll slide it to the tail. You see, chinchillas are like this. The mice and the squirrels. Go for the little club. You see, this is an animal that does a few things in his real world. Shall we try a little bit? I love the fluff. Of course, he's not a turtle. Right. But I see you have all the turtle guys up there. See, he's not going to be the turtle, but he's fast. This guy loves to bounce off the walls. I'm not going to put him on the floor because he cannot seem to sit still. And definitely he can bounce off the furniture. He can go up on the chair. So, Chincho is a hairy, furry animal. Like us, it has the fur, but when I feel gently, his body, it is warm. So this animal is very active in the night, but he has a warm body, and he has a lot of fur coat to keep his body warm. He's like us. He's what we are calling ourselves a mammal. Can we say that word? Mammals. Mammals are furry or hairy animals in one way or another. I mean, a pig has not a lot of hair, but neither does an elephant, yet they are born. They do drink milk, and that's what mammals do. And so did he, when he was a baby. Yeah, they don't eat milk that much, and they can actually get up and run around very quickly. Even right after they're born. And you see, he still wants to pop my mouth a lot. I keep turning him, saying, yeah, take a look. Be careful. He says, very good. I can feel the bones, I feel the warmth, I feel his toe is bouncing on me. I don't see the toenails on him. Get me with our toes, I don't want to run over them. Oh, the blood. The softest, fluffiest mammal in the world is the chinchilla. But he is made to be in a cold place. So the summer is getting hotter and it can get wetter and he is not an outdoor guy. So this is an animal that I would have to keep indoors with air conditioning. So this is fine for this one. He says, I do like this, the coolness. The winter's okay, but he can't play in the snow. It gets him all wet. Even in the mountains of where he comes from, he does not not in the snow. There isn't any snow in the whole mountain. It is dry there. Can I have some of that? <laughs> but he has that fluff. Softer than our hair, for sure. Love the fluff. Go for it. Check out that fluff. Now, some people want them as a pet, but find out they bounce off the walls like the children do. Okay, then don't get one. Please don't follow directions like the children do. Okay. So, they can, yes. I know. I can put Puff here. He'll stay for a couple of seconds. He may turn around and play a little pirate. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Great beard. Normally, they're gray. What color is this? It's kind of gray, isn't it? You know, the reader said it's violet. I know. It's a color that's a little off from the normal gray, and that's okay. But I have white ones, black ones, so brown ones, they come in different colors, spotted ones too. But that's only because people have been raising chinchillas in the wild. They need the color to blend in. You guys know what they call it when they blend in? Camouflage. Oh yeah, that camouflage. You must wear it sometimes, I don't know. Hiding from your brothers and sisters, who knows? So, this one, yeah. Parents? Hiding from parents? Ooh, okay, that's a good one. Um, but the chinchilla is hiding from the mountain lion, the, co you know, the coyotes, and even the uh, owls. He does have his fear of those big things, so, even children that run crazy in the house. But my first friend, 
softest mammal was the chinchilla. Little baby pup. Oh, oh, in the wild they live only five to six years. He's basically there. Um, but he can live over 20 years. Some have actually topped up for two years. Okay? But that's only because you're keeping him safe from some of the other animals, too. I'll put him back so he can put him on the table and take a nap, which he likes to do. If you want to practice. But I'm going to move over to something else, a little bit different. I'm going to move over to the box that is, you might call a cooler. Okay, it is a cooler, but I don't put water, I don't put ice in it. This one has to be kept warm, so I put a microwavable heat disk in here, and I think I need my, oh, my snack box. This cooler does have an ice pack in it. Only one of my coolers has an ice pack in it because there's food in here that I don't want to spoil. And this one likes to eat some things. No problem. Still not getting hungry, right? Good. Because I don't think these guys want to share so much. I'll even put them on a mat. Who knows? The food might get messy. I don't need them to get messy on that. So. We'll get this little girl. Now this, I'm going from one of my younger ones to one of my, the old one. Ugh. Here we are. As you know, this is a turtle. This one cannot swim, though. Is it a snap Is it a snap turtle? It is not going to be snapping at anything. No, oh, it will eat its food, but no, it is not a snapping turtle. Yes. Um, once me and my brother found a little baby turtle. Ah, uh, we can find turtles. This is the time for turtles, isn't it? So hold on to our comments. I know we'll get into some good turtle stories. But then that's why you can go read about some, and you can have your own stories about turtles. This one is called a tortoise. This turtle does not swim, so it has feet for walking. It's always on land. And, and I found out something about tortoises. What's um, that? Um, they found out they stay underwater under for two minutes or else they drown. Well, it's kind of like you then, isn't it? Uh -huh. You can't stay underwater with breathing. You don't have gills. You're not a fish like those guys out there in the front. Uh -huh. So, yes, all turtles. Now, the tortoises. What do you want there, girl? Her name is Miss Shell. Miss Shell is, oh, Shelly, okay, we'll go short and be informal. But she is one, maybe you like some zucchini. Would you like some? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's got a good mouth. Oh, I should have brought some mango. She loves her mango. But she also likes a lot of these things. Here, you want some salad greens? Now, this is a basic plant eater, too. So there are many, now I know, she's not going to just always go for the salads as much. She says, I like the colors, and a lot of times the colors are more important. Oh yeah. <laughs> so she already knows the flavor of these guys. Smaller bites. Little bites. Yeah. But she's not going to chew it. The chinchilla chewed his Cheerios after taking bites. Here, you can have the other piece. Yeah, it's not my finger. It, look, it looks like he does have no teeth at all. They don't. Turtles come with no teeth. They do have a sharp edge of a beak. Like a parrot has a sharp edge to that beak. Can put his head in his mouth? They can. Yes, and, and I told that mom to hold it and have to flip on that one to protect yep. the head. They can do that, and this one, because it does not live underwater, it is definitely going to have to hide in that shell. Please, please, everyone, please don't pull it so often because I don't want him to pull his neck. Pull neck. <laughs> She's got a very long neck. Very flexible. It's I know. She likes to pretend she's a giraffe, doesn't she? Boy, are you a hungry girl or what? I know, but she can go on and on. Now that looks sweet, doesn't it? Yeah. So she says, what you looking at? But yes, she is very much into all the food. But the sweet treat of the... Yes, I know. She goes in when I have to wipe her face, just like any child. I guess I should need a napkin when I'm handling this messy stuff. I get sticky banana fingers. But 
Shelly, she's definitely one that's, you know, growing, but she's not even full grown yet. She's going to get much bigger. Oh, I'll leave my oh, huge. I don't have a Galapagos tortoise. Some do get about the size of, the, of this map, but she's going to get another, oop, about this big. So she's going to get bigger, but she can live eight years. What? Now, I'd like to be able to come around with little Michelle. If you'd like, I'll maybe, I can let her run around, but sometimes you're always moving away from her. So if I pick her up a little bit, ah! Let's take a closer look at what we have here. But sit back in our spot, because I don't want to run over you, my dear. Taking a look, the shell is hard and flat underneath. Her feet are going to be paddling, but she's trying to walk, not swim. Her feet are like elephant feet. If you'd like, I'll try to hold out her foot here so you can feel that, too. I won't have you in her face. She may duck in, I know. Yeah. That's her design, is to do just that. But feel her shell. She does feel this when I touch her. So I don't knock on her shell when somebody's trying to enter her door or something. But you can see how she's watching a lot of things. I don't know, does she look okay with all the banana on her face yet? We can remove some of that yucky stuff all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good for the campus, doesn't it? We always look so cute with that. But you feel the shell, but look at the pattern. She has these neat rings of growth around here. She's got the lovely colors. Being a red-footed tortoise, she has more of an orange look to it. Some of them are. Some of them are bright red on their heads even. She tends to have a little bit lighter color. But when you're looking at this area where this kind of animal comes from, we don't have tortoises in Michigan. We have turtles, as you know, from painted turtles, red eared sliders, soft shells, snapping turtles, all of those guys. But this one has a shell that is standing up a little bit taller. Funny, yes, there's even the box turtle. But they have a different shell. Just like all of them. They all have a different color, patterns. But they all live in different places. Some like fast water. This one can get a drink. Like you're saying, hold her breath or get a drink by putting your head in the water and then walking back away. She feels kind of what? She does have some rough. Did you feel the arm? Where it has some very tough scales. Like I'm a lizard. Hear that. Yes, your shirt has some nice funky lizard scales, huh? Uh-huh. No, Alright, we'll just take a look, 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 you do I go. <laughs> now if you want to, uh, she can blink. Did you notice that there's some children right there at all? No. Someone knows that they just don't see each other up and they don't have to. This one when she blinks, her eyelid comes to the bottom and goes up. Her ears right on the side of her head. I need to it doesn't show up so much, but she doesn't need the big ears like that she can show up. If danger comes, she just says, I can just duck in. I mean, they're standing up. Yeah. Always be careful. If you find a turtle, don't always go up to it. It can't bite you no matter what kind it is. No. I thought you'd be my turtle guy. Sure. I think it doesn't make sense. I believe it doesn't want big ears because every have big ears, it could fit in the shell. It would have some difficulty, wouldn't it? So you're right. Maybe the design is don't have your big ears so you can duck your head in without getting them all tangled up around the shell. That's an interesting point. Because I know this guy has got to have a girl. Has to have the right kind of design to get everything in. But you know that she didn't really want to stay in the shell. She says, I'm a go-getter girl. But she loves to come out in the daytime. Maybe you read about the book uh, with the tortoise having a race with another animal. The tortoise had a tail. Ah, who won that race? Yeah. The tortoise, the said he wins the race. Ah, and I noticed my problem. If, if I ran a race with my tortoise and my chinchilla, you know who's going to win? No, the tortoise. Why? Because, because the chinchilla has to dig along with because he goes so fast. Just like the rabbit, they are much more active at night. And so he rests in the day. So the story would be the same. I would put my money on the tortoise because she's out in the sunshine day. So you and I would be out in the sun as well. So this one does not like to be up at night. It cannot see very well. It sees in color, but it sees in the day. You can see she's trying to do that to her head, her head looking up at you guys. You're so much taller than she. Hey, hey. And off she goes. Hey, miss? Yes. Um. 
Well, my track teacher said if you go too fast, if, when you start the race, chances are you won't win. So if you brace yourself, chances are you will probably win. Because when you get closer to the finish line, you can speed up and use the energy then. So yeah, so that's a good technique as well. Unless you're sprinting only a short distance. Yeah, but I have to go around the track four times. There you go. Pace yourself well. That's the tortoise. Pacing yourself at the right space. Excellent. Uh, let me continue. Oh, let me see. Oh, I know. I'm going to go to somebody else that has a shell. Hey, man. But I'm going to put a little shell back in here. Keep her warm in the box. Let me move on to another one that has a shell. But we're going to go different here. This one goes underground and does come out at night. Hold on to it, because I know we can just chit chat about tortoises for a long time. And chinchillas. But I want to be able to get this one out too. Because I've got so many things I want to share with you. We can be here all day doing this. Now this one is only a what, two and a half year old. But I watch this guy grow up. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I brought only animals with bones. On the inside. <laughs> you like my little football? It's not a football. Well, let's take a look. There are 20 kinds of armadillos. Some that are bigger than you guys. I'm talking 90 to almost 100 pounds. Some of them live in deserts, some of them can dig on the ground, they let this swim, some are big, some are small. Twenty different kinds of armadillos. But this, this one is a nine banded. These rings around the back. Nine banded armadillo. His name is Little Furry Murray. Let's take a look at the fur. Do you see the fur? Yeah. But Furry Murray is from Missouri. He's usually in a hurry, but not to worry. I know, let's find some others. Uh, he can scurry. He will be blurry when he gets moving because he's so fast. Hey, Miss. Hey, Miss. I don't know. Do armadillos roll up in a ball? One of 20 of them. Is he in? No. Let me show you. Just to show. Are you ready? Here we go. Tighten it up. Uh, curl into hey ball. Oh, this looks cute. No. His push. His push. His back is too short to do it. But my three banded could curl into a ball. Maybe I should have brought them and just compared armadillos. I have five kinds of armadillos. And only one curls into a ball. This one does not. He also has the longer nose. Let me come around with little Murray because he's going to get into a hurry here. And if I get him into a hurry and try to hold him, he's going to kick and squirm and wiggle uh, like you guys do. Which, oh, you are. <laughs> hold on to the squirms. Sit, crisscross applesauce. What happened to the crisscross applesauce? Sit back in our minds right up and run over your toes. <laughs> if you are sitting as I ask, I can put him on the floor so then his nose can come to your toes. No. Or no. But feel his armor. Let's compare. Now let's take a look at those eyes, ears, and nose. Oh, those ears that tuck in? He has big ears. Can you tuck them in? No. He can. But feel his armor? Now you also look at his toes. He has good toes and nose, doesn't he? Look at the nose. It's starting to wiggle. He smells food. Me too. His favorite food? Ants and termites and worms and clubs and slugs. Exactly. Can you see that he looks kind of like an anteater? Yes, he looks like an anteater. Yeah, I can't give this guy any other cat. But he's almost like an anteater on the shell. Why? No, guys, don't have voices. This is an animal that does hear very well. He has focus in ears. His eyes, don't be starting to get a little wiggly. He feels your energy. But he also smells your room, you, everything new. Maybe so. I didn't ask him, but I don't think he's going to tell me what he smells. But he can smell things better than you and I. 
Look at the way it bends and moves. It scales with the pattern here. It is different. Oh, and that tail, is it hard? Does he have little eyes? You guys agree? Little eyes, not big eyes? Do you see his chin whiskers? Then he has this big nose. And it's a drippy, cool, wet nose. Because when you put your nose in the dirt, dig it up, and look for ants, you're going to get dirt up your nose. So, what do you need? A okay, drippy nose. Get the dirt up your nose. And blow it out. So, he does. He can snort in, find the smell, and then blow it out. Because you have too much dirt up your nose. Find the smell. Oh, no, 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 no. He yawned the something. I didn't see any teeth in there. He does have some way in the back. But he has this very interesting nose. He does wake up in the, well, now that I woke him up in the morning here. <laughs> but he's definitely an animal that likes to uh, wiggle. Trying to go with the flow here, which way he wants to go. Because he won't always sit still. But here he has an armored body, like the turtle. But the turtle has a shell that's very hard and does not wiggle. He has a very flexible armored body. And so it allows him better speed. It is not as heavy as the uh, as the armor of my turtle either. But then who's going to win the race? Again, it depends on when you're going to run the race. He can't seem to sit still. He likes to get underneath my sleeve and then, hello, girlfriend. <laughs> so he's serious. But I know he's also an active one when it comes down to it. But an armadillo does not have a shell on the tummy like the tortoise did. And so, oh, I hear his nose really wiggling. It's sniffing up and down. Wouldn't you like to have a brother like this? Hey, they come as fours. Every time this one is born, they always come as fours. You can have four of you. Get four of you. I don't know. Would mom like to have four of you? No. How about four of your brother? And four of your sisters? Every time the nine-banded armadillo has babies, it has four identical quadruples. Every time. Not twins. Quads. Four. Wow. And, and, and is that with all of them? This kind of armadillo, but not my three-band. They have one baby at a time. Quadruple. So quad, yeah, like a quad runner. Uh, quad. Four. Quad. 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 Quadrillion. That's a game. Don't want to play a game. Quadrillion. Oh. Quad. Hey, you want some sweet potato? <laughs> Looks like he keeps it around. <laughs> yeah, how about if I find other snacks in here? I know he likes them. See, he doesn't have the big teeth. I didn't let him try to bite this because it's really hard for him to bite. But grapes are really good. Oh, yeah, let's nice. Looks like you try to teach him, like, um, and looks like you try to teach him to follow his smell. I know, but even if I set it out there, Remember your set small eyes. Mm -hmm. his small eyes and a big nose. Exactly. Looks like he needs so his major power, he's got the speed, but he needs to run from danger, but he also has to be able to find his thing. So his superpower is his nose. And, and, and his eyes. And then and, you go up to see what kind of flower you have over here. Merly, merly, merly. So it's kind of like the guan. and keep the dirt out of your nose when you're in there. So, yes, eyes are not as important. But if something pounces on you, like a bullet, what do you do? I run like as You as run like crazy. crazy. So he, but if it came so quickly, he will jump in the face of the animal. Bam in the nose and run off into the trees. So when I had him as a baby, yes, I had to stay close to the ground. Because he kicked me in the stomach and hit me in the chin. So <laughs> it's like a cartoon. So I know his design is, if you scare me so quickly, I have something in surprise. And this one can jump from the ground up to three feet up in the air. Wah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> into the bush and the arm will keep him safe from the scratchy plants. So the speed is good, but he can go with the jaguar or the puma or um, other um, animals um, maybe. Um, um, so moving on. I know, we can chit chat all the time. But uh, we'll put him back in his box. He also has a heater inside. I think air conditioning in the car and everything. So my animals don't yeah, like the cold. And so I keep them warmer. Ah, uh, let me see. Let me get to a baby here. Oh. See if I don't keep going. We'll get stuck on those three and that will be that. And I think you can be very sad if you don't meet up with this little girl. Uh, now I may not get to everything. Uh, but unless we have one maybe we have one that time. I have it next time, but there's a whole load of other kids that we see first time. This is one that will also eat some of the snacks I have on my tray here. The lettuce is good. But she didn't need to get into the bananas. That's a little sticky mess. But zucchini, sweet potato, and butternut squash. <laughs> Yummies. This is an animal that lives in the same rainforest as what you would find the armadillo and the tortoise. These live in the trees. A parrot? But it eats the leaves of the trees. A, 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 but it will climb down the tree. It's an S L O T H. Slot. I said slot. I said slot. So, what we have to do is no. If I hit too fast, she doesn't handle it well. Well, you just have to do her thing, you see. Is that three? Is that three cards? Or two claws. Two. I prefer because they're easier to keep. The three toes sloths, or the two, the three fingers, there's four kinds. They don't eat a wide variety of food, so they're harder to keep for the zoos. This one was bred just like all my others. They were raised by people that have their mom and dad. I got the baby girl. Let's see him come out slowly. She will come out in her slow way. Her name is Sweet Baby Ginger Slothington. You know, it's amazing how fast that can be. Now, granted, you have to understand, today is what day of the week? Monday. Right. Oh, not Sunday. Oh, Sunday is bathroom day for her. Well, I couldn't come today. But she goes once a week, and the last time she went to the bathroom was on Sunday. She couldn't go. She's getting bigger. They go to the bathroom once a week. Sometimes it's on as early as five. She says, you're moving too slow, Mom. How about some zucchini? All right. Let's see the hungry baby right now. She can be that way, and as the day progresses, she's going to change her behavior. No, no, no. The hands, the magical grip that we see on sloths, but they hang a hundred feet off the ground <coughs> and climb to the bottom of the tree to go to the bathroom. So when they go to the bathroom, they have, maybe that's what they go, um, okay. this one has to go once a week, but she never has to get up to go. What do you think? But Ginger, we've had since she was a little tiny type. Too. Ginger. That's, that's yes. what my dog's name. Well, I call her Sweet Baby Ginger, too. Now, she has been changing color. She was a nice dark color. Now she's getting to be a little bit lighter in color because that's her adult color. What do you want to climb up on, Mom? I have long sleeves just for you. We climb on. There. Looks like she does like climbing. Oh, she likes hanging around. <laughs> Now, this thing is one of the things that she does quite well. Now, I'd like to be able to come around if you can do this nicely. Now, you're hanging on to my bare skin. I'm right. I'm right. A little bit easier. 
I don't have you patting the in the face, like we said in the beginning. But if you are a two-finger sloth, whoop, like this, you can feel them down here. Look at the hairstyle, the way it grows. It's kind of interesting. It will grow the way the water runs off. Drip, drip, drip tip. So if I take my two fingers and touch her like your mom with the two fingers, she will feel it's nice and gentle. But notice the way the hair will grow. But not in her face. Let her body be the place to touch on her back. Shall we go for it over here? This is terrible. Miss Terry, yes. I think maybe if you press her in the face, maybe like maybe since you put uh, all the thing in the face was just so maybe she was thinking of the most food and try eating it. Right. But if I look at her face, there are some teeth in there, but not in the front of her face, like the armadillo did not have any teeth in the front of its face either. But not up on its head. Cut it down here. That way she feels comfortable while I am feeding her here. She does not want to eat my fingers, but I don't have everybody's fingers in her face, thinking we're all feeding her. But she is looking to me for some food. Mom, not wandering too far in here. See, you're looking at this nice claw structure that she has. She hangs from her fingernails. But she hangs from the fingernails, but she doesn't have a lot of big <clears throat> arm muscles because eh, muscles weigh a lot. And if you weigh too much, you will not easy. Then she will weigh too much and the branches will break. Two finger touch. Makes it gentle instead of two Is she knowing now she's she was staring at me? She said, I like the look over with that big chunk. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Shoot up good, girl. Now, she's normally eating a lot of different leaves, which I give her some leaves to eat as well. But she has more different kinds of foods that she likes to eat. And so a lot of zoos will have this one this time. Look, it's really fluffy. It is, isn't it? Did you feel that? How soft it is? Now, her hair in the wild it's going to get long and light colored and shaggy and kind of a little bit more rough. But algae, this green plant, it's like on your aquarium if you're not careful, will grow algae out on the glass because it's wet and it's warm. And her hair will be wet and warm in the rainforest and algae with the sun shining on it will grow. But then, the algae growing, what do you do with all the green hair all over you? Well, the, uh, what happens is the, there's a moth. There's a moth that lives on it. Now, careful with my toes are coming up in the middle here. There you go. So, yes, there is a sloth moth that will eat the algae. But so when they're done eating the algae and the baby of the sloth wants to come down, it will have the moth go, the moth go down to the bottom of the tree. The moth will jump off and lay their eggs in its food. The sloth moth will lay eggs in the sloth's food. But the thing is, the caterpillars, when they emerge out of the egg and they come out, they start eating the food. So they recycle that root back to the tree to use the nutrients, the energy. And when the moth is all done, he will come out. Ugh. Only about seven pounds, plus or minus the doo doo coming in and building up in her. She's been eating a bag or two of this, a bowl of food in the morning, another bowl at night, and she fits. Yeah, she. Okay, I measured her droppings. Okay, you got me. Why do I do such a thing? Because I want to see if she's on the heart. I'm getting big boot. And she does. She has about a, oh, what's it been? About a half of the pee. Okay. The outs. Yeah, that's all part of it. Being a scientist, you got to be a scientist. And that's part of measuring all kinds of stuff. That's one of the interesting things. Oh, she can only 17 pounds. You don't want to weigh too much. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could do that and you could be a chemist for me. What do you think? Ah, uh, sloth baby. Yummy. You love that too, don't you? Yeah. Hey, but mommy eats, she'll eat. That's how she learns what is good to 
eat. Your mother must eat it first. <laughs> ah, so, Slot baby, you want more? Uh -huh. Alright, uh, well, this uh, seven pound little baby girl is good on my arm here. It's only balancing itself on what, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten toenails? Yeah. Uh, I need body armor. Maybe I should borrow the body armor from who I should I buy it from? The armadillo, I think I should. Are you missing yet because she's trying to hang out and get off out again? Yeah. She likes to climb around in here. She likes this car seat, but you're outgoing your car seat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yummy. She says, okay, I'm good. We'll eat. Oh, she's there. So, a nice little girl, huh? We're good. Well, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> well, how about, let's see, how many have we seen so far? The first one was uh, chinchilla. chinchilla. Number two was the horse. horse. Number three was the armadillo. Then we saw the sloth. How's that? How many numbers is that? Four. Four. Oh, yeah. But whether I get to everything, we don't have time to get to everything. No, the other group is going to want to come in shortly. And I might have to wrap this one up with a wrap up. How about the wrap up? Right this one. Uh, I'm going to wrap you up. But I have to wrap up the program. Which means this will have to be my last one for right now because my time is coming short. But this one I call Baby Snuggles. Aww. Snuggles is one of my little guys. But you love the tape I have on my box? How's that tape look for you? Stylish? And if I have a birthday party, I've got to make sure they don't get my boxes mixed up with theirs. I have them decorated with animal tape on them because I don't have snacks in this one, only the other little one. That one has the snacks in it. This one starts off 15 inches long and eventually it will get 20 feet. 20 feet long. This is one of my snacks. This is one of my Now, hold on guys. Pythons are Definitely not the snakes that we find around here, right? What? Okay. Like we have our own snakes, just like we have our own turtles. Like South America, they live in South America. This one's going to be coming from Asia. Pythons are more Asian, African, and Australian. Now there are boas and anacondas. Those are South American cousins to these. So I prefer the Burmese python, and they too, like my chinchilla, comes in many colors. This is a standard color. But Snuggy Huggy, little Huggy Snuggy, is a fine one to work with. But he's not a little one anymore. Look at the size of the box. I actually put three heaters in here to keep him warmer. Uh, head, tail, okay, here to go. Okay. He likes to curl himself up a little bit to stay warm. That's why it's called a python because it has a different pattern than some of the others. But this one is only from Asia. Oh, good thing he's only about 30 pounds. I didn't want to, I didn't need to use my bigger one. But I'm going to shut the door, keeping the heat in the box. This animal does not like to get too hot or too cold. Ah, just that. Yes? Doesn't you make the snake snuggles? <laughs> because he snuggles. Should I call him Judy the Squeezer? No, no, no. They do squeeze. This one squeezes its food. Are you its food? No. No. It's not squeezing me. It's snuggling with me, but not squeezing me. You and I are not their food. Pythons never eat humans. Sorry. The Burmese python is one of the most easy going, but you've got to train them. Just like anything. 
Do they actually have mean jeans? No. Or snuggles? No. I go for snuggles, so I want that to be his theme. His behavior is what I say his name is. An easy going thing. But if you'd like, guys, I want to give you guys a chance to look with us. If you want to just look, you can watch us, you know, work with them as well. If you'd like to just look and you may do it. I can set him on your laps if you'd like to set him there and let us go there. If you'd like to try him over your shoulders for the 30 pound hug, who can try that as well? Okay, can I just have a little bit of a I know, see our backs, our muscles, our bones are working very fine now. So, maybe some others would like to try too. Let me take the tail first. There, and then I'll lift it up off of you. So you need to stay. Guys, yeah, it's back. Okay. You guys want to try a little bit here too? Oh, yeah. That's right. She's doing a fine job with that. But you can feel the scales. I know. I don't like Can I set it down here? Together? You feel a nice warm because you have the other Did you feel? Did you feel the warmth? Did you feel the bone? I'm allergic to this. And you can see the pattern on it. Perfect camouflage. It does stick its tongue out, but why? It smells because, because, uh, because they tell me. They smell with their tongue, gather chemicals. Shall we set them down? Oh, yeah. I So he's just going to sniff you. kind of holds you guys right down, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Seat belting you to the floor. He looks good on the carpet, doesn't he? Patterns different. The color's perfect. Oh. Oh, what do you think, guys? We're going to do a big group long hug in here? No. No? Did you want to try it? No. We can try some here. I don't want to. Okay. I don't feel. I am not. Did you want to try them on your lap? Set it right here. No? Yes? No? Yes? No? Should we try them here? Here we go. We'll set them right down there. Do a nice bit there. There. You guys can rub the pattern. You can feel right there nice and neat. See his head is here. He's feeling comfortable. But you can see how his eyes are blending right in with this pattern. Again, hide the eye so other animals don't realize the tail is which. Are you growing your tail back there? Right there? You got a tail? That tickly tail? But see, this is made of the same thing as your fingernails. Same thing as a turtle shell, your hair. Oh, that's great. What do you think? Should we try a little thing about it? Instead of down there, you can. I can't. 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 I